God douche. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming with AJ. With AJ. It's my boy. It's 14. It's amazing how fast they grow. AJ has permanently moved in here. How Ray. All right, we have an earthquake upstairs. Let's do this. This came from uh, Sandy San, Sandy Eisen, 1406. This is a repack. I want to give a really quick disclaimer, guys. Anything I purchase, don't purchase it just because you see it on this channel. That doesn't mean anything. Even if I get banger value out of here, what would it do? Okay, that doesn't mean you go and buy it. All right, this is strictly for entertainment purposes, but I'll tell you what. I've been finding better and better repacks out on eBay as of recent times, like the past two years. So this is pretty cool. Let's get into what this one is about. Uh, it says MTG Vintage Repack Legends Arabia Nights Dark Antique Betas UL Unlimited and Revised. Here's the picks. And then I thought this one was really interesting, okay? Because one, it was like an auction. Two, the way the guy listed it. Um, and, and three, the hefty price tag. But yeah, I won this one in an auction. And then he I guess he had a bunch of older vintage cards. And he's like, you know what? I want to dump them. And uh, that's exactly what he did. And he threw them like, all up in here. Now, I'm sure he would have removed like any black lotuses and stuff like that. I highly doubt we're going to get anything uh, of extreme value. But the description is long as all heck. So if you want to check it out, just go visit Sandy Eisen. Okay. Here's the description. It just goes on and on and on. I'm going to spare us of all that and just get right into Kraken, okay? But, yeah, you can read all of this. The feedback was great, and um, that made me really, really excited about this. I was going to sell it off to a patron, but I don't want anyone to think anything funny. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to crack it myself because especially there's this black, or not this black, this uh, silver uh, duct tape on the back. AJ, what do you think? We're going to get some value? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, baby. All right, here we go. So let's get into cracking. Remember, don't purchase anything just because you see me do it. Let me spend my money so you don't have to. Let's go. I'm excited. You excited, AJ? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Just so you see, like, just on the other side, there's a bunch of packaging and shipping information. The person decided to duct tape it. I don't know if USPS did that when it came in through customs or what, but that does happen sometimes. There might be customs documentation here. Yeah, there is. Holy crap. 156 pounds. Um, after everything was said and done, this cost me, after shipping as well, $201 in some sense. So this was not cheap. Oh, he included some more information in here. Like, as far as what his little shop or whatever it is. We're going to find out all about Sandy here. Sandy! Oh, Lord! Baby, I missed you! Sandy! Who could tell me what that's from? I've done that so many times. Anybody know? So here's all the stuff he's selling. I'm not advertising the guy. I'm just saying. Not fan mail. You're going to trash. All right, here we go. Sandy! All right, let's do this, Bruce. Any, wait, what's this? Hold on. Mint Legends MTG Repack 15 cards. No booster sleeve. 8X Legends, one Arabian, one sloppy handwriting, one, uh, what, unlimited, eh, okay, made by Sandy March 2023, in March 2023, it's set for that long, I right, guaranteed at least one rare or Lana War, you're guaranteeing me a Lana War, okay, I don't know, but let's, let's, let's tally up the value and see if it's here, guys. I purchased one repack from him. This looks like it would be two, but maybe I guess he just combines them into two. Okay, this is going to be fun. Nothing more to see in here. Can I get my 200 bucks back? We're just going by TCG player market value pricing. That's it, okay? Let's actually be careful about doing this. We're dealing with older vintage cards. We could pull something pretty cool, or we could take it to pound town, which happens to be the case most of the time. All right, Ooh, nice. Let's start over here. Um, oh, there, is everything sleeved? That's pretty dope. All right. So Erg Raiders from, that's got to be like 5th edition or something. Yeah. Wow. A little late. 4th uh, edition, 1995, right? All right. Gaia's Allege. Not bad. That's revised. Yeah. That one's revised. Okay. Condition looks great on that, though. I'll give it a thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, condition looks really good. Pretty satisfied with that. What do we got here? Whoomp. Oh, shit, Dex. We got a clone from 
beta. Damn. Look at all that. Okay. Son, that's a clone. Nice. From beta. Is that good? That's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. It makes me happy in pounds. <laughs> Take a look at the back. Um, I mean, centering's been off. You know, we got some 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 wear and tear up on the top. A little bit of love, not a ton of love. I mean, that's kind of like, in my opinion, that's like moderately played. But a lot of people would probably consider that LP. You know, that might be LP. But I'm like really critical about my grades because I deal with like the the um, the grading. You know, like I deal with that kind of stuff. So like I'm very anal about it. I'd give this bad boy right here. Uh, a better a better condition than the the Shire right here, who has taken a little little leave of absence there. Okay, so this one has to be good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Let's just move forward. I'm gonna do everything market value pricing. I'm not gonna break it down exactly by if it's a you know a six or if it's moderate plate or LP or you know any anything or heavy or whatever. There we go, Kithkin. Kithkin from Legends, pretty phenomenal. We'll take it. Nice little Kithkin. Uh, clone, I think, was our rare, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Hornet Cobra from Legends as well. With the old first strike. Pretty cool. All right. Deuce one. Can you imagine that? Three drop. First strike, two one. In green. Like, that thing needs to be jumping through hoops as well in today's day and age. But, yeah. Uh, there's specific to Legends stuff. Little little thing here for some uh, Legends cards back in the day. Sure. What we got here? Whoop. I love this card. I do have a few of these. Clergy of the Holy... What does it say? Holy Olympus? Holy Olympus? Who knows? Um, when clergy are destroyed or take lethal damage unless opponent pays one, clergy are regenerated. That's cool. That could be a pain in the butt to kill, you know? Keep coming back. And our final card here is the Glyph of Destruction, which I have quite a few of these as well. Not bad. Got an old Glyph. Good old Legends. Okay. And then our second little pack here. Oh, baby. AJ, what do you think so far? I think, I think it's good. You think it's good? Yeah. Okay. I mean, 200 bucks is 200 bucks. <laughs> that could have bought you one shoe. One shoe. Only one. Could have bought you one shoe. Don't make me tell the story. That could have bought you one shoe. <laughs> I'll save you. I'll save you, son. I'll save you some face. Here we go. All right. We have uh, Sage of Latinam, this dude, from uh, Antiquities of all places. Look how tiny that text was back then. It's so crazy to see that. Very, very interesting nonetheless. Okay. Cool, cool. Shape is pretty decent. Ooh, there's a little rough. A little, 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 little show and tell there. All right, we got Dust to Dust. Sick art on that guy. Remove two target artifacts from the game. Three drop. It's not bad, man. Destroying two artifacts. Pretty cool. Dust to Dust. War Mammoth. All right, we're getting into gritty. War Mammoth. This is from... Uh, Wow, that's unlimited, actually. I believe that looks unlimited to me. That's unlimited. That's my. I think that's my first unlimited war mammoth. Pretty neat. Headless Horseman. I do have this, I think, in BGS 9.5. You see this card over there, son? In that stack? No, you probably won't. Never yes, mind. Sir. Yeah, eh, there's a, never mind. You could look, but yeah, you probably won't find it. All right, Headless Horseman. Or I might have PSA 9 of it. Yeah, it's not going to be over there. Pretty cool. Got Headless Horseman. Legit. Oh boy. This I might I think this is the big bang card. So we're gonna save that. We're gonna go jump to Legends Wall of Vapor. There you go. These are like old. 1994. Oh my god. It was ten years after I was born. Just kidding, I'm twenty. So wow. You know? Alright. Whoa, what is that? Force spike from Legends. Cool. That one pops nice. This guy took care of his stuff. Like, that one's, like, barely any love on this at all. That's, like, near mint. So, some cards in pretty darn good condition. That might even be mint. Pretty slick. Pretty slick indeed. And our final card. Show me the value. Wait, not yet. <sighs> Fire Spirits. I have one of these also in a, a nice grade. I think 9.5. Fire, Fire Sprites. I always say Spirits. Fire Sprites. Very cool card from Legends. And our money, final. Ah! I bet the good cards make the cardboard taste terrible. 
We got immolation. Cool card, though. Target creature gets plus two, minus two. That should be uh, fourth edition as well. All right. Um, there's the total value. I'm not sure if I got taken to Pound Town or not. I think that clone really was a, a, a decent uh, price there. Wall of Vapor added a little value. <sighs> Headless Horse, dude. You know, and there's a, a few cards on commons and commons in here that were not too bad. But yeah, um, without knowing the exact total value, I really can't give uh, an absolute grade on this. But you get what you pay for. Um, he, he promised, you know, the beta, the, the legends, you know, and some other mixed sets, you know, whatnot. And he delivered. So, I mean, no false advertising, at least. Ah, oh, shit. This belongs to somebody. Let me get that out. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. AJ with... MetaZoo Gaming? MetaZoo Gaming, which he's going to work on that channel name here. Uh, we're going we're gonna to change that pretty soon here. Thanks, guys. PLA. <laughs>